Dun, 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 dun. Yes, hello, 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 Hi. everyone. Welcome back to day two of boot camp. Day two. Yay. What are you all doing going on? What's going on? I said, what are you What all? are you doing going on? <laughs> it's a mix up, but we're having so much fun today. Y'all, day one was so, so good. And we are so excited that you all are back for another day here at boot camp. Oh my goodness, welcome, welcome. As you guys tune in, I mean, just share with us where you are visiting from, what you are working on in the craft um, arena today. Yeah. Lauren. Today's project, is that what you're fixing to talk about? No, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> but we can talk about it. Okay. So, what do you think of today's project? I love it. <laughs> I think it is so cute. I love the concept behind it. Ooh. It's just, mm. I mean, we're cutting wood with my Explore Friends machines and my Maker Friends. Yes. Like this is like probably going to give you guys the best results for wanting to work with any wood material um, with your Cricut. So that's what we're doing today. I'm so, so excited that you all have joined us. But what I was giving you the like, oh, the yeah. look around, I, I, now what I don't, do now you know what it is? Now I catch your drift. N no, you don't. No. I don't think. Okay. I was going <laughs> to talk about saying. winner. I do have. No. I have a winner. Okay. And I have. I'm just going to quit. I'm just going to try to quit. You just tell me. Not even an hour after yesterday's show, people's projects started popping up. I did see that. Can you believe it? I did. People's I did. project just started popping. Yes. Like I saw Beth. Beth showed up uh -huh. and showed out. She's a sugar-free household, which we need to have her on the show to talk about that. Yep. Um, number two, I saw someone do it with a blow pop real quick. So, I mean, I just want to honor you guys and say, wow, y'all are killing it. I am so, so excited to see you guys taking action and really making the best out of boot camp. Yes. And I will say those submissions, like I just want to let you guys know, by the end of the week, like people that are submitting projects on the Facebook group are not go-go unrecognized. No. So get ready for some like exciting announcements revolving around that. But I'm giving you guys like a little inside scoop to give you time to post your projects. Like, so get those projects posted this week. Like make it, post it. Like that's what we want to see here yes. at Boot Camp. Yes. yes. Oh my gosh, Lauren, what's everyone saying? Um, <laughs> that they love the sleeves on my top. <laughs> Okay, the shirt, the hair. Well, I mean, okay, so I think it might have been Shirley yesterday said something about where's your funky hair. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to bring some fun hair back for today. Ooh. And I think I'm going to continue out for the rest oh. of the week and just do some fun do some stuff. Is he going to get more elaborate every day? Probably. Like, today's <laughs> was a very quick, like, I don't know what to do, so let me throw it up in some space buns. Um, I would call it pigtails. I'm so, space they're called, buns. They're called space buns. Is this from the 80s? Like, what? No, where is, okay, no, I don't know. This is, I think this is more like a 90s, like, oh. like early 2000s thing. <gasps> I um, love but it. Yeah. I love so it. So I think I'm going to pull out some funky, some funky stuff this week. That's going to be fun. Because you all seem to love funky. They and do. And everyone's loving your hair. I'm, I mean, love the sleeves, love the hair. Oh I'm my gosh. I'm going to bring the funky then. Love it. Do that post have to be boot from boot camp or any done this week? So any project boot camp related. So like if you take any part, any element of today's live stream and make a project, post in the Facebook group. If you're a member, which brings me to another point. If you are not already a member, National Craft Month is this month, and you only have three more days to decide, do you want to become a member at our amazing National Craft Month deal rate, which is $30 off to be an annual best value member. What that is going to do, Lauren, it's like everything they need. It's unlocking the unlimited downloads, the lowest price, the 20 plus courses. I have a frame building masterclass in there. That frame building masterclass I love Chef's it. Kiss. I love it. We, we freshly refilmed it last year with a videographer, which made it even better. Um, but I was showing on Sunday's live stream one of the projects I actually built and mm -hmm. using my home office, which I love. Like, I think it's yes. the easiest way to build frames, be able to work with vinyl, make and sell your own projects really quickly. So you get that for free when you say yes to your membership, the commercial use license. So, so good. I mean, so if you're not a member yet, Please be deciding. Jessica, if you don't do use Facebook, and this is for any of our members, if you all don't do Facebook, that's perfectly okay. Like if you still want to 
No, we want to no, still see it. We still want to see it. So email those pictures into yes. um, our customer service team, and they will yes. share it with us. They will. Um, and there's also we've had friends that they don't do Facebook, but they yeah. create a Facebook under a pseudo name or yes. like a very their middle a, name a or like a name, and they yeah. only go to the Makers Gonna Learn group, and that's yes, it. They don't have it any is other so friends. Good. The so. fake the, the Facebook group you will be addicted to because it is such a place of inspiration. It's such a place of fun. Um, it's honestly a breath of fresh air to see everyone crafting. And I think you need to center yourself around people that have like-minded interests as you, even if they're not in your day-to-day -day life. Like fellow members, they're gonna really help you like craft more, have more projects, and and it's so so good. So we love it. But we're so excited yeah. for day two. We have. Dun, 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 dun. We have yesterday's winner. We've picked yesterday's winner. Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna let you pronounce the name, but okay. it, what they won was a Canon printer. So they won a Canon printer valued at $150 to do their very own print and cut projects. So um, is it Gwyneth? What? That would be Gwen. Gwen. Gwen Eldridge Woo! is the winner for the printer from yesterday. Yay! Go, Gwen! We're so, so excited that you won our printer. How to claim your prize, you are going to go to hi at makersgonnalearn.com. You're going to just send us an email, and you're going to let us know your best shipping address if you're in the continental U.S. Um, if you are outside, if you're an international friend, let us know your best PayPal email, um, if you want a gift card to Amazon or somewhere like that so we can get that for you. So congratulations! Yay! Yay! I love it. I love seeing everyone's congratulations. You guys are fantastic. Yes. Are you all ready to know what we're giving away today? This one's big. Yeah. This one this, is like... I mean, the printer would be super, super nice. Like, love a yeah. good printer. Love a good printer. But this one? This is a moment where you can like go pick out whatever you want. What fits your needs. It doesn't have to be craft related. I know. You could buy yourself, you know, whatever you want because it's a $100 Amazon gift card, uh, which we love yeah. giving away. Yes, we love those Amazon Ooh, gift cards. You could put it towards the new um, Cricut like hat press. If that's, that's what you if want. If that's what you want, you Absolutely. could use that for a little portion of it. Um, I mean, if you're gonna put it towards that big old thousand dollar press, I mean, I mean, I mean, wow, that would 10 only ten percent, <laughs> only ten percent off. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Um, but yes, we are so so excited for everything we're doing today. I did see some comments yesterday, kind of confused what Maker's gonna sublimate is. I want to let you guys know that is our program to sublimate. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna talk more in depth about that tomorrow. Um, but if you're like, Tanner, I know what sublimation is. I may have not picked my printer yet. I may not have my supplies yet. Um, all you need to do is check out the links below. It's $70 off this week. So you're gonna get incredible savings if you're ready to say yes. And we've even broke it down in some really obtainable payment plan options. So just making it available to everyone that may need it is what we're about here. I'm so excited. Um, and Lauren, do you, should we explain to them how they're going to win the $100 Amazon gift card? Because this is pretty easy. We've made it very simple to enter. Super simple. All you need to do, you can leave comments live or you can leave a comment after the video. Um, as long as you comment before 1230 tomorrow. Yes. You're in twin. So even if you're watching this and it's nine o'clock tonight yes. or tomorrow morning, um, make sure you leave that comment. Um, that way we can go back in those comments. We take a mixture, we go through both of the comments yeah. um, and we choose our winner that way. Yay! That's easy. So we made it super, super simple. Easy. Like I said, love it. So the more you engage live, again, the more um, honest opportunity you have. But again, we're trying not to get those repetitive comments. Repetitive comments will probably not be honored. We want to see authentic yes. comments here and we are super, super grateful for you. But for today's boot camp, it was really inspired behind trying to get you guys truly out of your comfort zone. Yesterday? Very much so out of your comfort zone. <laughs> yesterday was kind of like a walk in the park. Like we're back, we're gonna do some, we're gonna do some hard stuff. Yesterday, I, I saw some people recreating the project and still getting tripped up here and there. Um, but today's, we're really like leveling y'all up quick. So we're working with wood. It's actually a very thin wood veneer. Yes. I love it. It's so easy to work with. It's so easy to work with. And a lot of times when we work with the thicker wood on the Cricut, we get so frustrated because it has to be so many passes and then there's a chance of it like 
the wood starting to fray, but this wood veneer is cut so, so smooth, awesome. so easy, and it's one of those that it's a very easy one to layer to make it thicker. Yeah. And that's what we yeah. absolutely love about it. I mean, we have a Glowforge, so really and truly, we can cut whatever we want on our Glowforge. That is true. <laughs> but we also understand that the majority of our people do not, do not have, have that. It. I mean, that's a big ticket And item. here's the thing, like, does the Cricut have the ability, you know, Lauren touched on this just briefly, but can it cut thicker materials, thicker woods, th chipboards? Yeah. But how disheartening it is when I spend $15. $15, yeah. that's three lattes. Yeah, That's I a know. lot. Um, so you're spending money and then you let it cut for over an hour. Mm -hmm. I peel it up and mm -hmm. it snaps in two. I mean, Lauren, it, uh, there it are, makes me sick. Yeah, there are no words. And yeah, so really, Getting that thinner wood and stacking it on top of each other. Not seems, a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. And we've actually been working, uh, there's a few other projects we've got going on, Ooh. and it can cut pretty intricate too yeah. with that thin wood veneer. Even today's project, I'm pretty impressed with yes. how intricate and how clean it looks. I think you're going to really enjoy this. And even my Explore family friends, you are going to be able to do today's project, which is fantastic. Um, and this wood is what we would consider makers going to learn quality. Like what is going to be able to really get the job done consistently. I do not want you all to be scared or be confused of a material. So I think you're going to be really, really impressed with this um, project. And we didn't stop there. No, we did not. <laughs> we didn't stop with just cutting some wood because no. that's not how we do here at Makers Gonna uh -uh. Learn. We are giving you a new technique today yes. um, of pairing up, you know, some different things. Yeah. And we're going to touch on working with intricate hate HTV, if I can talk. Mm -hmm. um, on wood. On wood, so we're ironing on HTV. Today's gonna be a big project. Like, it's it's like three separate tutorials all in one. Yeah, I mean, it's a huge, it's a big undertaking. Um, so I don't think we're gonna see projects pop up within 30 minutes. Probably not. This. That's okay. Uh, and that's fine. Yeah. Um, but this is one, and I know we had a comment, I think Beth asked if we use a 10 inch or a 14 inch round. Really with this one, um, I think you could use the 14 inch round. You just we, have to use. For ours, I think we did the 12 inch because we cut it right at 11.75 and I'm yeah. looking at it right now off the, yeah. uh, the side. So I mean, if you did use the 14 inch, just keep in mind like you're going to have to piece yeah. what piece the HTV together. So if you want, the because, because the, yeah. the, the design is so intricate, we would suggest using a 12 or less yeah, and inch round believe for me. the intricate details. Yes, yeah. we're, we're doing more floral for this and it's a really good mix of like many different things. So I think you're gonna be really impressed with today's training. Um, but what questions do we have? Do we have any questions before I jump right in? Um, I'm so, so excited for today's project. Everyone seems to be excited. Yes. Um, and it's just wood veneer. And before we jump into it, Lauren, can you make sure we have that veneer link available will, in the description while, while we do that? And if not, we'll get our team to provide us with that link to make sure, because I know a lot of you are like itching to make this project and we want to make sure you have that veneer available um, in the description. Beth is going with a 10 and a half or a 10.8 inch great. round. Beth, you're on top of it. I hope you're crafting along with us today. That is so, so fun. Um, and we're really excited. Oh, Lisa is so excited to have found this group. I have an Explorer 2 and now a Cricut Maker 3. We she don't. hasn't used either yet. We don't have that. Okay. Yet. Can you text Courtney and I we'll will. try to get that yes. link available for you guys right away. Um, Lisa, are you a member? Here's the thing. If you're like Lisa, you have an Explorer 2, you may already have the Maker 3, and you've not used them, that's where our membership comes in, my friend. You are going to be able to start using your Cricut. We're going to teach you that solid foundation. Because before I jump in today, we are going to try to explain everything as well as we can for a live training. But there are going to be elements that you may not know what this term is or what this is, right? That's where we go back to our solid foundation at Makers Gonna Learn. When you become a member, when you use that coupon code CRAFT at checkout for $30 off on your year membership, you are gonna be able to grab the 30-day challenge. 
You're going to grab the Maker's Going to Master updated Cricut curriculum. You're going to be able to have unlimited access to all of our artwork. You're getting new cut files every month, new fonts every month. We're actually working with a font today. That's going to be fun. I'm going to teach yeah. you how to install a font on your computer. It's really easy, um, and it's going to be awesome. But yay! Oh, okay. my goodness. So I text Courtney. Hopefully that will be... We'll um, have the veneer link by the time we're, we're cutting, yes. so have no fear there. Um, we are so excited. Tammy's enjoying her membership, even though I've only been a member for a few. Oh, my gosh. Yay, Tammy. I love it. Been a member for nearly a year. Worth trying it out. Yay, Anna. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Yay, I agree with Janice, love my membership. Oh, you all are about to learn more about the project. Some people have been sneaking pictures, looking at what's coming up, so they already know what we're making. But if you haven't seen it, let's head over to the craft table. I'm gonna head over right now, um, and we are going to dive into talking about what we're making today. I'm so excited. This is it. This is it. I am so excited. So let's go over the project now that we kind of prepped you guys with what to expect we are going to show you we're cutting this wood the blue this is actually cut veneer so we're going to cut the veneer this is a sheet of veneer so it's it's very thick um but it's flimsy so it's it's thinner but it's sturdy i really love it um and what we're going to do today what you need to know about this project I'm going to teach you how to cut all of this, so I have no fear at all, actually. Um, but all you need is, dun, 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 dun. how many of us Cricut beginners, like my friend Lisa, who hasn't even used their machine yet, know that there are different blades for your Cricut? If you did not know there are different blades for your Cricut, my friend, you have learned something today at boot camp. Lauren, we can go home. I We're know. good. So. We're, we're done. Gonna use, yeah, we're done. We're done. See you guys like tomorrow. Um, we are going to use the deep cut blade. Now, the deep cut blade is exactly what it sounds like. It is a deep cut blade for thicker materials, unlike vinyl, unlike heat transfer vinyl, unlike, you know, anything. This is for, um, I use it for wood. I use it, some people use it for thicker magnet sheets. I used like paper thin magnet sheets last time. Um, and it is so exciting. Megan, our job can go home. Megan just learned what wood veneer is. Again, y'all are learning things, which we are so <laughs> excited. We're gonna leave, like we already taught you all enough. I love it. <laughs> but no, you all are gonna be in for a treat today. Sadie, how many friends do we have? Uh, 550 friends here on a Tuesday oh afternoon. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you so much for showing up today. Not only for Lauren, myself, our entire team, but for you, like you're really about to learn something awesome and I cannot wait for it. So yay, if you have not used the deep cut blade, you are a step ahead of yourself. So you're gonna be able to use it today. So this is gonna be so fun. Um, I do wanna remind you guys, before I jump into supplies, I do have a special presentation revolving around more advanced projects. It's this Sunday. And Courtney and I sat in my office today, really fine tuning your curriculum for that training. Lauren, I haven't got to debrief you on it. It's so good. I'm so excited. Um, we'll be sharing our four step system to being able to be an advanced craft designer. And I think just being here at boot camp is going to help you even more. So I'm so excited. Definitely one that's not going to want to be missed. Do not miss it. 9 p.m. this coming Sunday, the 20th of March. Yay! People are asking me, Tanner, can I do this project on my Cricut Explorer Air 2, my Explorer machine? Yes, you are able to do that. So that's what I love about this. We wanted to make this applicable to anyone at home. So yes, you are gonna be able to do that. So I have the um, veneer. And the reason why we love this again is because it's really easy to cut, it goes fast, it gives us consistent cuts, and I love that. So, happy birthday, Sin Gagan. Oh my gosh, she is our um, editorial director here at Makers Gonna Learn. She's popping in. Yay! Happy birthday, happy my birthday, friend. Sin. Did you get the gift yet? Let us know if, what, if you got it. Check your email. Anyway, let's talk about supplies. Let's hop over to overhead. There's a few supplies. Um, for today's project, I'm not even going to lie to you, but what I want you all to really see here is how beautiful this project is, y'all. I mean, this does not look like you made it with your Cricut, but it's actually really easy to do. Oh, super easy. I mean, you're going to mix in heat transfer vinyl, 
cutting with the wood, a brief design space. I mean, not much in design space, y'all, really. Um, and then if you notice, this is like separated about an inch. So it's an inch off the wood. I'm gonna teach you my secret for doing that. And now that you know the three different steps, you'll you'll the supplies will make sense to you. So what we've got, we've got our 12 inch wood round. We have a sanding block. We have a tape measure. We have our brown heat transfer vinyl. We have our wood craft cubes. This came in a pack of 36. And what this is gonna do right here, this is gonna allow you to create that like one inch dimension, separating the two pieces of wood. You're gonna love that. You also need your paint. This is the Decoar Americana Multi-Surface Satin. Guys, if I had to tell you a secret paint that is so good, so good, this is it, all right? Next, we did do a little wood stain. We did that before the show, um, so that's awesome. We have a little wood piece right here. I have a little hack for you. I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised because it's gonna work with this is my secret weapon. Like, for some reason, I had a bad taste in my mouth about DAP Rapid Fuse when I was going to be able to um, use super glue um, until I found Rapid Fuse. Yeah. Have you worked with this, Lauren? I have, and I absolutely love it. I, okay. We actually use it on our uh, Did we really? arch back here. Yeah. Oh, honey, uh -huh. I, I love this right here. I actually found this um, and it's so good. Like, I love it. So you're gonna enjoy that too. And it's gonna be so fun. I'm seeing some comments. I'm, I, wanna, I wanna make sure we're all in the same, on the same page at the same place. I'm seeing some comments, Lauren. People are saying, wait, this isn't a beginner project. Wait, can I actually do this? Y'all, we are gonna be here until you feel 100% confident. We'll answer all your questions. Yes. We're going to go slow today. What I want to prepare you for is it's a, this is a beautiful project. This would not be something I would just say, do quick in design space and cut it out and be done. It can't be like that. So what you're going to do is we're gonna take it slow. We're gonna give ourselves grace and, and we're gonna push ourselves. If you're scared to cut wood with your Cricut, that's what you need to push yourself today to do. If you're scared to iron on wood, I wanna push you to do that. Maybe it's all of the above. If that's what's gonna push you, that's what we wanna see you do today. All right, my friends? Oh, I'm so excited. But before we jump in, Lauren, what? Uh, someone just brought me a coffee. This is a very large cup, but somebody just brought me a coffee in here. I don't. Did somebody go and get milk? I, I, don't, I don't know. I must have. I must have. I do want to... Um, there is it's really good thank you there is a comment <gasps> that Ooh, lauren's going, got a comment i want to find okay um but it they were saying how you have there here it is he has done so much for me as a crafter so oh. i cannot wait to join today this live was <gasps> confirmation oh my god i never so watch youtube live youtube live streams and i've literally been saving for the mgl membership <gasps> yay we are so glad to have you. We are so excited. What, do we have a name? Do you, do you see the name? Donna. D-O-N-A-E. Oh, welcome, welcome, my friend. I'm so excited to have you in the membership. You're going to love your experience here. She's signing up today and saying yes to a whole year. So she's going to be able to make any projects she sees on our YouTube channel from the past four years to pretty much for the next year. So this project, she's going to be able to make. All the projects coming up this summer, able to make. We're gonna have a handmade holiday together too, my friends. So get ready. If you all are like, oh, I need help mastering my Cricut. I need someone to work with me and really help me level up as a crafter. That is why you need to get this membership. So go grab it. You only have three days to decide if you want this special National Craft Month promotion. Sadie is dropping those links for you. So you can go ahead and register and say yes during the live. I wanna hear any testimonies, throw those up. Lauren will try to showcase some cause I love hearing them and they're super, super fun. So yes. yay, oh my gosh, what a great one to kick off today's show with. Oh, this is gonna be so good. I can't wait. I'm trying to find all my 
files. Dun, 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 dun. Are y'all ready for this? Let's let's jump on over to Cricut Design Space and take a look. This is not near as overwhelming as you may think. So that's why I feel like once we bust through Design Space, you are going to love this project. Here's our finish. I love starting with the end in mind. So this is our finish, okay? This is what we're gonna look at at the end of the day. By the end of this right here, here is what Design Space should look like. Three simple layers, one circle. Really, the circle doesn't even get cut out. It represents the wood. So boom. Does this look not even easier now? If anyone was stressed about this project, I want you to see that here it is. Two layers, a blue layer, that's gonna be the wood, and then we have our iron on. You can do it, all right? Ty says, so I just thought I had everything, I need the veneer. Ty, amazing supply to dive into if you haven't already. Um, and this is fantastic. So now there have been friends asking if there are other woods that the cricket can cut. There are. And there are. But like we were saying in the first of the show, it takes the cricket quite a while to cut those thicker yes. woods. And there are times where you don't get as nice of a cut. It just yep. doesn't have the pressure to be able to really cut those right, thick, sturdy right, right, woods. Right, right. So that's why we are using the veneer today. Love the veneer. Um, and that's something, uh, there was also a friend say something about uh, art, like craft foam. Oh, if you, you don't have the veneer and you want to try it out with craft foam. foam that would be great. That would be. Try any material with the deep cut blade. Yeah. So that is awesome. One thing I want to point out is when you get the membership, you're getting the Cricut printable guide and we go over the blade comparisons. So you're going to be able to see the difference between the deep cut blade, the regular blade, the specialty blades. All those blades are outlined here with what blade to go with. So I'm pretty much telling you, go to this guide in your library if you're a member go to the specialty blade area, see the deep cut blade, and I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with all that's available to do with this blade right here, my friend. So I can't wait. This one, this book is free when you sign up for membership. It's at your library as I throw all my, t my materials away, but all right. Are you ready to see how to download a font in Cricut from our website? So let's head back over to the computer if you all were not aware, Maker's Gonna Learn offers amazing fonts, okay? Amazing, amazing fonts. So today we're using one of our company favorites. This was probably, I mean, we search it all the time. Quiz time. Quiz time. What is it? It's click clack. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh. It is click clack. We love it. Um, and it's so good. So yay this is awesome and then here's click clack so when you're a member you get unlimited downloads of all of our fonts and we're just going to download click clack real quick while that downloads you can scroll through the view all and it is so so good gene says membership's awesome first signed up last year did not hesitate to renew worth every penny you're amazing you are so so awesome but yeah we have really unique fonts Albuquerque is one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. Airstream is a hidden gem. I have been using Airstream a lot. It's a hidden gem. But Airstream and Saturday Night right Ooh. now are, are my go-tos. I feel like it's kind of like with my retro mood. Yeah, it's, I, I love I'm that. I'm in a retro mood. Like. I know. I mean, I'm all for it. We're here for it. We're here for the hair. We're it's, here for the outfits. I'm going to blame it awesome. on um, Alicia. Yeah. <laughs> everything on Alicia um, but yes arrow words this one's one of my favorites for a lot of your designs um, it comes with the little training so you know how to use it but you can use arrow words and then bring the arrow together it's a very cool uh, design one thing I do want to share with you guys today is my favorite font someone was shocked I wasn't using barefoot Joanna yesterday so I do have to give Barefoot Joanna some air time. Air, jo, bear, Barefoot Joanna is one of my favorite fonts. You all know, it's mm -hmm. amazing. And let me share with you a new feature of the website. So you can actually, if you're a member, test fonts. So you could search, you know, you could put makers gonna learn. So whatever your text is, you can test out that font in our area so you know 
what is needed. Does that make sense? Like you can make sure you like it. Like I could search, you know, I could type in Tanner Bell, I could type in Courtney, you know, anything like that. Um, and you could just test it. So that's one thing our team is super proud of and excited. Um, and it is, it is so fun. So you can click on the font after it's downloaded. We're just going to double click and then boom, it's right here. You're going to click on click clack, boom, boom. It's going to let you know, Hey, click clack is here, but click clack is not, um, going to be able to be installed. So you're going to click install and bada beam, bada boom. If this ever pops up for you, you click it and you're like, install that checked font. I need it. Look at all these fonts. Oh my word. Oh, Melanta. Oh, okay. Melanta. I love so it. while you're doing that, I want to address Stephanie. Oh, she hey, She said, Stephanie. I have the monthly payment for my her for membership. So she does monthly. Okay. If I upgrade to the yearly, can you confirm for me <gasps> if it is a better Girl. deal money wise and any additional perks? Girl. Okay, here I literally could like within minutes, within seconds, Gwen Eldridge is here. Congratulations for winning. If you didn't know, you won yesterday's giveaway. Um, but here's the confirmation for our friend Stephanie. $13.49 a month, Steph, compared to $19.99 a month. I am going to do the math for you real quick. Compared to being a monthly member for a year, um, you are saving today casually $79 over the course of a year. So you're going to get the lower rate, but honey, that's not it. You're getting 20 plus online classes. You're getting our frame building masterclass. You're getting the 30 day challenge, the commercial license and the $80 to spend crafting more. I mean, who does not want that? Hello, my friends. If you love what we do here on the channel, you will love being a amazing annual member. Um, so click that orange button, use that keep on code craft and get started. Mona said, I have to cancel my access subscription. A lot of our friends cancel their access subscription because they absolutely love, love, love our cut falls, our atmosphere, and more importantly, the community. Our internal team is amazing. Our fellow members are amazing and it is so, so good. So I just want to invite anyone that hasn't said yes to membership to, to grab their membership today, because I want to see you in the community three days left to join and you'll be able to make this project. So our fonts downloaded and I want to share, share with you this hack that Lauren shared with me many weeks ago and I'm still, I'm still talking about it. So here it is. Are you ready for this? Mm -hmm. Lauren's like, I, I've been ready for this. I, I, I mean, taught you it. <laughs> there was a couple lives where you were like, you still have, I think you were like live at home and I was yeah, somewhere you were, else yes, watching. Yes. And I was like <laughs> trying to comment on my personal YouTube account and I don't, anyway. <laughs> I was well, like, no, you can do it. <laughs> it's awesome. Um, but it is so good. So we can go ahead and click, um, I believe it's just view. And we're going to click reload. So save your project if you need um, to save it and then just reload it. But we're going to click reload right here. Bada beam, bada boom. Yolanda agrees with me. The Barefoot Joanna font is amazing. I love it. I'm so glad you're using it, my friend. Yay. Okay. So we've been able to download that. And then what we're going to do real quick um, is just separate these out and I'm going to share with you kind of what we're going to do. So we're going to cancel this and we're going to go to the text box. We're going to grab under system. We're going to search, search click and clack. Beautiful. We're going to search hello or we're going to type hello period. Okay. That is going to go right about here. Is that not awesome, my friends? So good. Love it. Learn something new. Okay, Lauren, we can go away. We can go I know, home. We've had, I've had so many friends say that they've learned something new. I I'm so happy. I know. That's awesome. We can go eat tacos, get a coffee. I mean, we're, we're done. You know tacos <laughs> are my favorite. Yes. Um, but yes, we're going to slice this real quick. So I'm just going to zoom in. Did you notice what I did? So if you've never grabbed a hexagon, all you would do is go to shapes and under this free area, um, you can grab your hexagon and just like so scale it up. This replay is available to you. 
Yes. Um, and it'll be awesome. So you we, can shift it. We also have, while you're doing that, um, we will show you where to get the... Oh, um, this is not the hexagon. This is octagon. octagon, Lord. Um, we will show you where to get the flower fall here. Yes, um, we're getting to the flower fall. We're fall. getting there. And then there was something else. Dun, dun, oh, dun, Linda, dun, dun, dun. and I know this is for dun, everyone. Dun, 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 dun. Um, we are getting that link added for the veneer. Yes, we will it was add not that, on there. Friend. Courtney got I believe it. And I think she's sending it to Angela. If you all are curious, let's see if it's under the supplies for day two. So we have this boot camp area. Um, and if we, it's on here, look at me. I'm so excited, huh? Um, I'm wondering if, so we're going to add that right here because we need to get that wood veneer. Um, but this we is got where it we'll from Amazon. It. Yeah, we love that. Um, so anyway, we'll get that. Great questions. But anyway, back over here, you have your hexagon now, okay? You can change that color just for visualization pur uh, purposes. Um, and then we grab click clack and we have it right here. So that's really easy. I'm going to delete this one now. Um, and what you're going to do, y'all, just like yesterday, we are going to select both of those and we're going to click slice. You guys know it's a cookie cutter. Beautiful. And delete those out. Boom. Bah. This layer right here is going to be the hello. This right here is the hello. It's going to be cut on our wood. That is going to be awesome. All right. Now, in addition, what we need to do is just grab this cut file. And what you can do when you're a member of Makers Gonna Learn, you can go to cut files. Welcome, Julia, I made it for the live show. Um, you can go to cut files and you can just search flower. Do, 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 do. That's actually one cut file that may be featured on the link area of boot camp so you can see the you have the font right here click clack um but for the flower you are going to be able to just find it when you search on makers gonna learn let's see if we can find it real quick do, do, so we do, did do, do, have do. someone ask us um how large the hexagon was mm -hmm. so that's going to be um you're going to size that you can size really if you want to you can size that smaller um, or larger, but it's definitely going to be smaller than your wood round. Yeah, that is true. I love that. Um, and yes, the fonts for Makers Gonna Learn show up under System. Okay, System. I'm trying to scroll through to see where our flower cut file is. If it's not um, on here, we'll have it added at the end of the show. Um, it should have already been on here. And the cut file is called Flower. So we will find that for you does not look to be there. So we'll take a note of that too and pass that over to our team and get all those supply lists updated. I'm sorry we're falling short for you today. How embarrassing, um, but we will take care of it. So this is the file that will be added to the site. And what Lauren was speaking of is when we have something, so we can go overhead. I wanna show you what we like to do. So if you're brand new here, I wanna like make sure that you all are aware of this hack because this hack will be probably the best hack I got. So this is a 12 inch wooden round, okay? A 12 inch wooden round. And just like this right here, you can take this circle and bring it into design space. All right, are you ready? So hop back over to design space. We just took a basic shape. We tr uh, made it the same size as our wooden circle and we made it tan. So that way we're able to show exactly what it's gonna look like. So then you can add your cut fall over here. You can even, for visualization, this is a little hack, you can hold both of these cut falls down, select it, and then click arrange, or excuse me, align. Look at this. You can click align center, align center, and look. Boom, it just centers it up just like that. And then you get to bring this one in and size it. So you know exactly how everything is going to come together in real time, okay? In real time. That is one thing I absolutely love, love, love about this feature 
as it comes together in real time, okay? There's gonna be no surprises now that we sized it appropriately. We have double checked everything. We have two layers. That's it. Y'all, when we cut this right here, we are going to cut our blue layer on veneer and we are going to cut the um, flowers on HTV. Just because we had our circle here, that was for visualization, visualization purpose only. We're going to X that out. We're done with that, okay? This is it. So I don't want you all to be scared. This is not a project that you're going to be scared of. Now that we are done with this part right here, we are ready to jump right in to get cutting. That is simple. So we already have this size all ready to go right here. I'm going to hide that one. And then boom, we're going to click make it and we're going to click on the mat and press continue. And because we're using, we're using heat transfer vinyl today, we are going to mirror it. So it just flips that. And then format two, this is perfect. All right, this is good to go. I can move it down and over if I want. And then I can press continue. I'm connecting to my machine via USB today. Um, and that is awesome. And for the veneer, um, we are going to go to click Browse All Material. And when you click Browse All Material, we are going to search just for um, veneer. If I could spell veneer correctly. Um, there we go. We have natural wood veneer. I'm going to select that and press Done. Lauren, did we have an announcement? No, it was just somebody asked, deep cut blade is for wood only. No, I think you no, can use honey. deep cut, cut blade for so, so many, many different things. So many different things. We can go overhead now. You just want to make sure your mat is pretty sticky. This one looks like it has quite a bit of love on it. I'm going to see which one. I have a lot grip. We don't love to recommend lot grip. I'm going to grab um, a strong grip mat. So Lauren, if you just want to, we can go straight yes. to Lauren. And I know you all were talking about that flowers cut file. I have, um, in, or I have messaged Courtney. She should be getting that linked for us um, so that we can definitely get that to you guys so you know exactly where to find it. Um, let's see, does the mat matter? Yes, for this specific project, the mat does matter. Um, when you are using any type of um, medium with a deep cut blade my suggestion to you use a strong grip mat if you don't have a strong grip mat get you some painters tape some um, masking tape and tape that down yeah because it's important that that doesn't move because that deep cut blade is putting a lot of pressure on that mm -hmm. medium that you're using whether it be wood craft board, whatever you are using, it's going to put a lot of pressure on that and there is a chance of it moving back and forth. Yes, I love that. Thank you so much for helping as I ran out to the craft area. Let's talk about veneer real quick. Lauren touched on it. We, I did. It's so funny you brought it up. I pulled out my painter's tape just in case. Like I just want to teach you all the best practice possible. The wood veneer is really fun. I love it. I think you're going to enjoy it too. Um, be impressed how fast it cuts and whatnot. But anyway, we're going to put this on the strong grip mat. And this is a time where I like to pull out this bad boy. Oh, yes. Just make sure that it's adhe like adhered down. Like, you're just going to make sure this is adhered down well, everything like that. No biggie. Um, you know, it's perfect. So that's down. For extra support, you can go ahead and add, like, I don't know, Lauren. I mean, this is kind of like, if you want to dot your T's and cross your I's, this is what you do. Like. Mm -hmm. A lot of us here, we don't want to do that all the time. Right. But, you know, we have now, quite a few people watching today. If you are using thicker wood, it is an absolute must. This is not a how to use the knife blade video. Right. We do have that available. This is how to cut veneer on an explorer or maker. And there um, is. And we love that. We have had friends to ex wanting us to explain the difference between that knife blade and the Ooh, deep cut blade. All right. So this is going to be Tanner's d deferring opinion of a knife, point, a, a knife blade versus deep cut blade. So while we're using veneer today, and why you don't see us use the knife blade all the time, is A, it's really expensive, and B, it does not always hold up to the quality standard we expect from the Cricut when it comes to cutting, all right? That's why we do not use it constantly. Um, what I love, love, love using that knife blade for, 
my friends, if you have a Cricut Maker or Cricut Maker 3, the heavy chipboard from Cricut is the absolute best material they have been able to develop to cut on a Maker machine. That stuff is thick. Lauren, have you ever worked with it? It's thick, thick, thick. You will love it. So that's kind of the differences. There's a lot of passes. There's a lot of things we're leaving out. I have other videos just about the specialty blades. Um, but just so you guys know, today's project's about using veneer for our Explorer friends, for great cuts. I mean, we've been using this veneer a lot lately. I know, and we did have people ask, um, can you do this on the Explorer? Yes, that is why we chose this material is because it can be done on an Explorer. Um, I know I did see someone else ask if this, um, if the veneer came in a thicker. We're not using a thicker material today. Um, yes, it is pretty thin. However, it is one that is very easily layered. Yeah. And it's something that, let's say you wanted the Hello to be a completely different color. Mm. Let's say you wanted like a bright yellow, mm -hmm. the Hello to be yellow. Then you could do layers of this veneer paint one layer yellow, one layer blue, and let that yellow kind of show through instead of it oh just being gosh. all the way through to the back. Lauren, I am thinking about a dark and light stain, like to complement the dark and light stain with what you're talking about. Like that was my envision now that I was thinking about that. We like, could do that on this live because yeah. we'll, being 100% transparent with you guys, the hello that we have, the blue part that we have right now, was actually cut with our Glowforge. Yeah. But we wanted to show you a different version yes. um, of how you can do this and how it's possibly yeah. done with an Explore. Love it. Well, okay, so we're gonna open the fine point area just for the B, the B blade housing. We're gonna take that and we're going to insert the deep cut blade. And then as we close it, that's all you have to do. So you went from the fine point blade that comes with your machine to the deep cut blade. And that's super easy. So there you have it, really simple. And we're gonna just press the flashing play button now because we already set this right here. Um, and it is so, so fun. So there you have it. It is going to just start cutting away. Look at that. You're gonna be really impressed with this. Um, it's gonna do three passes, it's letting us know. So just be prepared for that. Lauren, let's let them know this is a great time to open this up yes. for live Q&A. If you have questions, if you have comments, song dedication, and or prayers, let us know. So, we want to hear those. Speaking of prayers. Oh. Miss Gwen. I saw in the comments there was stuff happening with Gwen. Gwen I didn't get to see it. Gwen just lost her daughter. <gasps> Gwen. She had missed. That's why she missed the first part. So we, I told her our prayers are 1,000% going up for you during this time. Y'all, I'm not even going to try to sugarcoat it. The world is heavy. I walked in the office today and sat down with a dear friend of our, uh, uh, Caitlin, um, a dear friend of Caitlin and a family friend also lost their daughter this week. Um, so when our, our um, prayers and thoughts are with you and your family and there is a lot going on. So if you all also feel that heaviness this week, you know, I feel like that is just um, imparted in us to be praying for those that are going through such a hard time, whether it be um, in Ukraine, whether it be here locally. Um, there's so much going on. So again, we are going to be, you know, lifting you up with our thoughts and prayers this week. Um, and I love this. We have a friend that says, praise, just found out that my husband does not have cancer. So congratulations. Absolutely. The Lord is still working. Praise the Lord is report. so good. Um, and we love that. So an amazing praise report. If you all have a praise report, feel free to pop that up too. We can, you know, just again, a for all of us to know praise that. praise and prayers. Yes, I love praise that. While prayers. the cricket cuts, we are praising and we are praying. <laughs> but that was a short praise and prayer because look at this. It's already done. It's already cut through. Y'all, is that not crazy? So look, you can kind of see it when you pop it out. I wonder if I should put it through another pass. I want to just see it here. I mean, it's cut through. So one thing I want to show you is, dun, 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 dun. I kind of want to put it through another pass. I would. I, I mean, it, it's not going to hurt it to put it no. through another pass. We'll, we'll make sure it doesn't hurt it. So I we're also load it don't think in. it would hurt to put it on more pressure. I mean, not this time, but if on your yeah, first cut. Yeah, the, I didn't do more pressure. So I'm going to go back to the veneer. I could make that work, but I really want it to be be good, you know what I mean? Right. I can even spell veneer, Lord. 
Um, yes, you can do this. Well, you can do this project on an Explore too. That is what we are doing it We're on using ourselves. On three, or on Explore three, three. Sorry. Um, so the blade awesome. is the same. Yeah, same blade. You could use this blade even in your maker. Yeah. You don't have to have that. Um, well, that was unexpected. What I'm going to do is now. You know what, Lauren? This did not even cut through all the way. So I'm flipping it because it already cut um, on this side. So I'm just flipping it over. So this is an easy way. Definitely use that more pressure, y'all. More pressure is gonna be our secret weapon today, um, working with the veneer. And again, this is one thing I like about the veneer is it's fast. Like everybody's like, whoa, did not expect that. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So here we go. One thing I do want to highlight while you're doing that. Go for it. Um, Carolyn said, with so much sadness and craziness in the world, crafting is, and I, she just said crafting is, but that's one of our things. is Sanity? Crafting <laughs> is our sanity. Crafting is our therapy. Crafting is our escape. Thra yeah. Crafting is for us, and I think I speak for you all as well. Yes. Um, you all are fellow crafters as well. It's one of those things where we can... We can create beauty in a world that is so ugly sometimes yes. and so dark. And let's get real, y'all are in control of your crafts and we're not in control of this crazy world. You know what I mean? Yeah. Aw, uh, watching Tanner makes me want to craft. Yay, that's our goal. That's our although, secret goal. Although sometimes we don't have control over our crazy crickets either. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> honey, I second that one. I'm with you. Okay, we're doing more pressure. It didn't ruin the veneer. That's kind of the cool part too. Like it didn't ruin it, even though it didn't cut through all the way. Um, so it's gonna be awesome. I taped the top. Okay, thank you guys for reminding me to tape the top. It was like bouncing off. And the reason why is the veneer is actually pretty thick. So when you let it hang down, it's actually not doing you justice. So like, look, I'm gonna prop that up a little bit. Um, actually with more like that. Boom, beautiful. So then this area needs to stay down. The veneer is wanting to move. All right. Did I, I left it on more pressure. If I cannot see the letters are able to be like really um, down, I'll probably let it go through another pass. How long ago did you start Maker's Gonna Learn? That is a really uh, good question. What a question. great question. Well, we probably have, you know, uh, last time I checked, we had 550 friends hanging out with us. It did not happen overnight, unfortunately. Lauren, <gasps> Lauren, you're go, I'm gonna get fired. Somebody is gonna fire me. Why? I started cutting the second mat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get fired, y'all. This is not my day. You're done. I you're done. done. It. I'm We're done. finding a new, we, we are finding a. Uh, <laughs> somebody new, somebody yeah, fresh. Somebody new. Um, that's so funny. Okay, so I'm gonna move this down um, and we're gonna press continue. Anyway, as I correct my mistakes, I mean, listen, yesterday, I guess it just went too smooth um, because you all thought that I had it all together. No, 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 no. I've been using a Cricut since 2010. Um, so if I can make a mistake with it, so can you. Absolutely. <laughs> just to like let you guys know. Um, but how and why a launch maker is going to learn is because there were tons of cut file designers out there and they were giving cricketers cut files, but they weren't connecting um, like the crafting portion and the education portion with inspiration. So the, the secret sauce of maker is going to learn is the education, the motivation and the inspiration. You have to have all three to see real progress. So I launched Makers Gonna Learn in 2017. Um, it was a team of two people. It was Mary, my operations officer, who was at the time my executive assistant. And it was also, um, it was also me. It was literally me and her um, launching Makers Gonna Learn. I had a full-time job and other business where Courtney worked at, um, one of my longtime colleagues who I still love to this day, um, they were still working on that business. So it took over a year for Makers Gonna Learn to really take off and for people to stop looking at me crazy um, because I left a really stable career of digital marketing um, to become this crazy cricketer. Um, so <laughs> it's awesome. We love this community. I never thought it would be 
what it is today with as many amazing people getting to work here, being touched by the community um, and whatnot. So that's a little like very short, short origin story um, and we love it. So yay. Okay, I hear it cutting a lot better yeah. now. This is like, oh, I can see. There is a huge cut difference between so it, the key, more pressure and no, not like regular pressure. As I use an Italian hand, the, the key, key Wait, did you is, see that TikTok? Yes, did you see that TikTok? On our, on our Facebook page where she was going around showing her crafter. I loved it. I loved it. Okay, I saw one with the same thing and it was like, it was this couple and they're Italian and she was like, I'm gonna see if my husband can go like a whole day without going like this. <laughs> Oh yeah, this is cutting through. This is really good. Oh my gosh, this is good. Okay, while that's cutting, I'm gonna prepare my other mat because y'all, this is gonna be a two hour live stream if we're not careful. I know. And I feel like it's going to be. So we might have to turn on the air conditioner because I'm all confused Open what- the door. I'm confused what temperature it is. I'm like, I'm burning up. If you all saw anything about like our bodies i mean this the weather that we have here in east tennessee is absolutely insane on friday we had 65 degree weather where yep. i was riding around with my windows Heck down yeah, me too. t shirt on like yes. crazy woke up on saturday morning to four inches of snow unbelievable some of our friends not got cool. seven inches in knoxville that was crazy yeah okay so i've now cut that the correct map. Yes. It's now letting me unload it. Uh, let me double check that I'm, I want to unload it. Now I'm nervous, but I see a lot more sawdust. This looks really good. I'm going to very carefully, because here's the trick. You want to make sure it cut through before really moving it around too much. Um, uh, I want to make sure it cut through. So I'm going to grab this and see how well it cut. So we did have, um, while you're doing that, um, we had some friends ask us where they can find the more pressure setting. So yeah, when you go I'll show to- that, because I'm gonna cut it again, just because I want it to be flawless, and I don't want to have to, uh, like it, it's cut, like I'm not saying it's not, but for these letters, like they need to be able to pop out a little bit better. Um, so we're going to go to VE and find veneer, click on it, and then after you press done on your material, look right here under basic material, you can use default or you can use more. So just select more and now it's measuring. Love it. No. Why does it keep doing that? I'm just gonna unload it, we're fine. Now we're getting a flashing red lock. So we've taped this down we cut veneer, and the crazy thing is, Lauren, we were cutting a way more complex thing right before this. And I was watching it, and I was like, wow, this is going to be so good. And then we're over here just on the struggle bus. The cricket well, the has its own mind. the good part about it is, for some reason, you all love watching us fail. fail especially After at boot camp. we talked about how well this thing cut the veneer. <laughs> um, and that's just the nature of the beast. Yeah. With lives. Um, and not just lives, this is with- Crafting um, in general. With anything, whether we're filming an organic video, it always seems to do that. Don't cut that second mat. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, somebody is, Kaylin has brought me a coffee already and now she is, we're, 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 we're should we cut it again? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to cut it one more time. We're, but we'll be ready. Do we have another piece of veneer ready? Should we switch crickets? I want to. I'm getting word we're wanting to switch crickets. Um, let's take your let's, should, do, do we think it's a blade issue or a machine issue? I think it's a machine issue. Machine issue, okay. Well. Oh, is this the machine we've been having issues with to begin with? Oh, wow. Uh -huh. So we have, okay. we have a lot of machines in our office for those that are wondering. Um, and for some reason, we have a couple of those Robin Egg Blue Explore 2s, and we've been having issues with one of them, like a lot of issues with one of them, and we must have put the wrong one in material. here. So, that is where we are currently at. Yeah, this is gonna be so, so good, and we love, love, love it. 
We do. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna mirror our iron on. We are gonna cut this veneer, and we are gonna get a new piece of veneer because it's awesome. I do wanna see, just to fill some time real quick, um, what we've got going on here with this. So, here is our piece that we've cut, and I wanna show you guys. It's cut, but it's not cut all the way through. So we could salvage this because look, look at this. So like it's cut, you can snap it out, but it's not cut all the way. So if you- so, And this is while he's doing that, this is why- I'll save this so we can talk about it and answer questions. Yeah. But, so but this is why we like the, um, when you start cutting more thicker, when you start cutting thicker materials, these are the issues that we have is we end up having like, it, it just takes a long time. It cuts really good. Yeah, no, this like, is proof. Show the overhead that yeah, it cuts yeah, great. Yeah, this is proof. We and love I, we, it. it. We cut it all the time. Uh -huh. So this is not us just trying to, we, we don't probably, I mean, we make very small commission off our affiliate links, but we're not trying to sell veneer because, you know, it's some special promotion for us, honey. You all know we are here to sell you what is best for you. Um, and it's gonna be awesome. So I love that this is just not gone perfect because, hey, we get to hang out more. Absolutely. And get to answer all your questions and kind of slow down and just, you know, remember all the things. I haven't even got to address it um, as this is not really something I get to talk about often, but there is a lot of heartache out there in the community. And my heart goes out to Melody Lane's son a fellow, you know, member Absolutely. of our craft community, yes. um, losing, losing, I mean, we lost Melody. A lot of our, you know, I know a lot of our subscribers here also were dear followers of Melody and Melody truly was, I, I've never even really shared my thoughts about Melody because we never really collaborated much, but Melody was such an advocate for the Cricut user. Mm -hmm. um, she loved Cricut. She really loved Cricut. She loved the company. She loved everything about Cricut, um, which is so special to me. And watching Melody in the early years of 2014, 2015, um, when she was diving into, diving into Cricut, teaching people, honey, when I tell you she laid in her bed and would answer cricket comments day in and day out. Like she lived and breathed the cricket community. So that was a true loss for everyone in this community. Um, and that's been really hard. She was so fun and we, you know, we love her. I would never, I, I would just would never expect it. It's literally not the same. So we are all not guaranteed tomorrow. So yes. we all are here today and we're gonna have fun crafting no matter what, but I feel I feel terrible. I haven't even got to address it. There's just been so much and it never felt right. But since we're here today, it, it felt like, yeah, Melody was such a, a lot and she worked so hard um, for everyone. So we've done more pressure. We have got our Cricut Maker in. Look at this. Oh, okay. The Cricut Maker does four passes. Caitlin, come here. Okay, Caitlin. Uh, Caitlin had the gut that I needed this new, this new machine. Yeah. It four does. Passes. Why does it do four passes? Because we want to make sure that we cut through it. But like we we didn't do nothing. We just changed it to the Maker Family machine. On the on the Maker, it does four passes. Are, is Cricut trying to sell people so. a Cricut maker when they have an Explore machine? Yeah. Okay. Well, here's the hack. Thank you, thank you for knowing I needed a new machine. You're welcome. But the hack here is if you have an Explore and you are wanting to do this project, before unloading it, like you saw me unload it and be like, oh, it's yeah, not cut don't through. Don't even. Don't do that. Just press, load it back. Lo leave it, leave it loaded and press the play button. It'll go through three more times and more passes is not. So Kaylin wins at saving the day. I, I think this will be perfect. More pressure, four passes. Thank you, Kaylin. Woohoo! So, carrying me in a coffee, carrying me in a new machine. Let's, I mean, wow. Let's reiterate, if you have an Explore machine, as I use my Italian hands again, <laughs> do not unload that mat uh, because you will reload that and recut it so you have 
three more passes. Yeah, yeah. That's what I agree. So CG said, I feel Cricket could have done more. Or no, 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 not Cricket. That's for her passing for Melody. Sorry. Oh. I'm talking, what I'm saying is, I feel like Cricket could use an update to allow you to choose how many yeah. passes you want. And there are some ability to go into custom settings and do a little bit of that, but you never really know. Okay, this sounds really good. Okay. I'm bringing my mic really close over here so you can really hear, can really hear it and like what it's doing. Okay, look at that. We're doing another pass. Oh yeah. Okay, so for Maker and Explore Friends, as we are gearing up on this fourth pass, here's what I... Popping noises, don't... I know. <laughs> now it's flashing. Now it's gonna be like, oh, you're done. If you need it to go again, press that play button and it'll go again. But here's what you can do. While it's still in here... Oh my gosh, are we on this camera? Yeah. For the first time ever, look at this peeling up. It's peeling up. Oh! Oh my gosh, we're done. So look, and the reason why I could check it, if this was not coming up, leave it loaded. Leave this loaded, okay? Leave it loaded and just press the play button again. But as I can show you, this is what, Lauren, this is what it should have done from the get-go. Yeah. But see, here's what, what I'm confused. Oh. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. One thing you're going to want to do, though, don't get rid of the middle part of the E and the They're on the map. Okay. They're, on, they're okay. on the map right here. This is so good. So what we're going to do, we're going to switch this out. We're going to do everyday iron-on for our heat, tra or heat transfer. We're going to do more pressure. I'm loading in my next mat. Oh, this is so fun. What a great, I mean, wow. Today's show. Lisa, you don't need a mat with a Maker 3 if you're using these smart materials. Which That's I have a whole video breaking that down. That is the key. Um, so yes, you do still need a mat, um, but if unless you're using smart materials. Which will limit your ability, and we don't want that. Okay, so we can press the flashing play button. Let's go cut out our next mat. Um, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and start painting this blue. Um, you could leave it as is. You could stain it a different color. I mean, really, whatever you want to do. Um, today's show has been so long, I would uh, yep. do something different. But we're just going to say you're painting it up. Yep. I'm Once shaking again, my paint. I've said this multiple times. If that veneer is too thin for you. Yeah, cut another one. Cut another one. Love it. And you can glue those together layer with uh, rapid fuse. You could layer them, you know, whatever you want. So, love it. I'm just going to take some paint right here, grab my paintbrush. I'm using another wood round to be my painting area today. And then I have my heat tool, and this will be able to draw live because we're about to have to weed this out, Lauren. Who's ready for, like, live q and I mean, I think I we could get through at least half of my life story and probably start on Lauren's. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because <laughs> like this we weeding is going to be fun. This weeding, this is going to be um, weeding not for the faint of heart. Yeah. Especially, some people love weeding, and I can see why. Like, I love weeding, weeding could be therapy in and of itself. Yeah. Um, kind of like how I like to sit. Uh, and do some embroidery. people like the adult coloring mm -hmm. books. Mm -hmm. Some people, mine is embroidery. It's like you just sit, it's like a mindless activity. Yes, 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 yes. I love that. Okay. So, look, I'm almost one coat in. I'm going to heat set this. Because this is a two-coater. We have not had any issues, so Ty asked, will it curl? Um, I feel like if you put, like, a ton of paint on it, there's a chance. Notice I'm trying to keep not, these pretty thin. We've not had any issues of it curling just yet. No, but we're also going to be adding those blocks yeah, we're to hold it, it down mm -hmm. so that it does not, it for sure does not curl. Yeah, yeah. So I love that. Um, you can just hold something here if you need to touch up paint anything. And then once you have that, look at this. So we're gonna grab our heat gun. Um, if you see a lot of curling or anything like that, you can always um, grab the heat gun too, because the heat gun will kind of help it all stay in place. Yeah. Fixing some of these brush strokes before I grab the heat gun. Grab the heat gun. So they're asking, are we still using the deep cut blade for the HTV? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, we are. <laughs> so yeah, we, we are. This is going to be a good go review. Okay. We'll review the deep cut blade and how well it cuts. So it's probably going to just straight up cut through the whole thing. Because I did more pressure. Which means you may not even have to be able, you may not have to weed it. It may just come up and you can just lay it down. That would be crazy. Have you never thought about that? No. Because that's what happened with one of the projects I was doing. It might, for some reason, it ended up cutting through. And I was like, oh, well, I don't have to weed it. Okay, there it is. Let's just lay it on my project. Wow. The heat gun is not linked. This is just a Chandler tool. There are so many different ones out there. You can do whatever you want. You don't have to have it to do the project. When we do supply list, we literally try to give just like the baseline, but maybe we'll start linking more of our, we'll try maybe to start linking more of these like extra tools. Cause I know you all want to be like extra crafters. Like we are like above and beyond like fast. You know, a lot of these things we have here sometimes is to help production, you know, make the video flow better and things like that. Um, but it's awesome. I mean, you guys are fantastic. Okay. Look at this. Second coat. Oh, I love seeing the change of a, a one coat to a second coat. Like, definitely changes the game. The whole, somebody, Stephanie said the whole mat is going to be cut. It will, honey. You know. This is, what a day. What a time. What a, what a time to be alive. Yeah, for real. <laughs> for real. This video might real quick just take out the iron on wood. Because I'm not cutting this again. It might just be. No iron on wood, but honey, we cut the veneer. We cut the veneer. We had a. We did it. We had a pray in. We had a praise, and there you go. If you comment on today's video, you will be entered to win a hundred dollar uh, Amazon gift card. Did you guys know that? 100. Did you guys know that? We will announce it tomorrow. Leave us a comment by um, tomorrow at 12:30 p.m. Eastern. That's when around the time we will pick the winner. Um, yes. And then it'll be so much fun. Okay, love it. Last boot camp that I did, I didn't do something I promised I would do. People like literally left comments. They're like, I really wanted you to see, I wanted to see you do that one part. Yeah. So I'm gonna try to do it all, but this deep cut blade might hinder us. Can the explorer cut a deeper wood like the chipboard? It can it, cut a little thicker, but not much thicker. Not much thicker than the veneer we're using. I didn't think so. It can cut like like a cereal box, which is thicker than the veneer. It's more airy. Yeah. It's about the same thickness, but more airy. So the circle that we are using is actually linked in the um, yes. below. It is, we just bought it off Amazon. Yeah. We love that. Um, I might applaud too much heat, so we'll we'll see if that changes anything, but it's looking really good. While I have that to the side, I'm going to grab my letters and paint those real quick. Love this. Love it. Well, actually I only need, I said letters, oh my goodness, I just need inside my O and my and e. e. Love that. Okay, so we're just go be able to paint this real quick. Look at that. Let us know if you guys have any questions. This is a great time for Q and A because I'm about to start hopefully weeding. I'm about to find out. I'm or on the just edge of laying my seat. down. Yeah, I'm I'm on the edge of my seat. How that's go turn out today? <laughs> to be honest, I'm excited what a too. Tom, what a time to be alive. <laughs> Don't make me start singing again. It's good. It's already I'm stuck in my head. <laughs> oh gosh, don't do it, Lauren. TikTok song. Tic Tac Patty Way. Uh huh. Okay. Alrighty. I'm go let those just air dry. I mean, guys, this is almost 90% cut out. 90% cut out. Yes. Oh, I just love the, this wood project. Almost looks like wood burning. You could do the wood burning project. Guys, if you're just tuning in with us and you're like, wow, this looks like a little bit of a hot mess express. Here's what we're actually going to make. Does this not look beautiful? I'm so excited to share with it, share with you everything you need for this one. It's going to be so, so good. Um, you can rewind 
and watch what's happened so far. But I also want to let you all know if you have any live Q&A related to membership, I would love for you guys to grab your membership today to save $30 for National Craft Month. Get your membership today. Say yes for a year. You're going to get 365 days of crafting, not only with me, not only with Miss Lauren. Sorry, that's what our kids call her. With Lauren. No, no, call me Miss Lauren. <laughs> Listen, I've, I have been Miss Lauren since I was like 15 or 16. I We're love good. it. I love it. Well, you get the whole team and the whole Makers and Learn family. We have over 16. Lauren, I recently looked. We have 16,000 members. Active, active members. Wow. Can you believe that? I was, I, mean, I was a little shocked. I was I like, praise it. God, I love, I love it. it. So you get to join 16,000 BFFs right out of the gate, which we which we love it. Um, people love Lord's TikTok. Stephanie says membership's great. Y'all, if you're waiting, go ahead and join it. Um, Sadie, how many friends do we have live with us? 582. 582, so good. What a great oh, group today. Oh. I love it. I hope you guys are loving today's show. If you are, drop us an emoji. We yeah. Wanna see, we want to see how many of you are being active. Come on over back to the comments, back to the show. Drop us an emoji. And I'm a member, but only join Facebook group, and it's already so much fun. Y'all, members say that they would pay just for the Facebook group. That's how awesome it is. So, yes, I love it. And Let's have boot camp class on specialty blades. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And it's the Facebook group is one of those things that it's such a uplifting it is empowering, so good. Oh, loving such a great community place. such that, a great place to be yes we absolutely love it i'm gonna take this time to clean up my craft table oh look at all these emojis y'all woohoo crazy crazy join the annual membership in november love it yay love my membership love it you guys are awesome so fun giving a second coat to my little inner pieces okay this is awesome now's the time where we need four hands crafting all um, at the same time i don't want to i don't want to make false accusations accusations but i think i think we're gonna be good okay like i think this is good uh, i think it's gonna be able to bleed and i love the fact that this project if you don't like the the hexagon design do another circle. Yeah. If you don't, we had friends saying, yeah. why is the hello not centered? That was just a design. That's um, what we wanted to do. That's what we yeah. wanted. But guess what? It's up to you. If you want the hello yes. to be in the center, yes. you're more than welcome to do that. We're just bringing you the tips and tricks and tools to create something, um, create art that yep. is more suited to you for your style. Um, yeah. Love it. You can do whatever you want. So we love that. Um, Mary, congratulations for your grandson just being born. That is so exciting. We love that. Um, and it is awesome. I'm loving Ooh. all of these emojis. Our makers are in union with cutting. Oh, Unison. I love that. Okay. Let's, this is the big reveal. Are we doing iron on wood today or are we not? This is about to get real in the pin pin tool is going to be right here with me. Oh, you can hear. Uh, mm. Mm. Can I come look? You can come look. Sure. Okay. Oh, I'm real. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it definitely cut, got through to some of the plastic. I'm just trying to like, you see, like it cut. I'm just thinking if it got through all the plastic, how I you know. could just peel all of that up. But it didn't. No, it didn't. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be that would be insane. That would be super That happened easy. to you? Yes, that's that, insane. That happened to me where it cut through all of the plastic and I was just able to peel it up and it was already on the plastic and I just laid it down and I could not imagine. I would freak out. I would you literally freak out. You could learn to roll with the punches. Yeah, I would freak out. I will say this is like oh gosh. <laughs> this is weird. It's cut differently. Um and I'll try to show you is what I mean by that. So, HDV usually, where it cut through, it's like cut just enough, a lot, bit of the material. So, like, look. So, like, right here where normally the heat transfer would be stuck down, it's, like, coming up. Even though, it, yeah, it's cut, just not cut the right way. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to do that today or not, y'all. Like, I, ooh, ooh, no. 
So like some pieces are great, some pieces are not. Rebecca asked if it cut through my mat too. No, it didn't cut through my mat. I just forgot to change. I think I used like, a, I, I was doing a project where I had two different types of, uh -huh. of vinyl. And I think it was, one of them was glitter. So I put it on glitter HTV to begin with and then put it on more pressure because this glitter vinyl was super thick. Yeah. And I just did not go back and change my material and I left it on more pressure. And so what happened was um, it just like, it didn't cut through my mat. Um, it just cut through all of the plastic and all of the vinyl and I was layering. So I just laid it down and put a Teflon sheet over it and- That's insane. Went to town. That's awesome. So I'm just trying to see if I can salvage this because I have this area that like did not do me, did not do me a favor, if you know what I'm saying. Um, I would not, like for anyone watching that's like, oh, maybe the deep cut blade can cut my vinyl better. No, 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 no. Like I, like I just wish you could see and feel what's happening with this. This is when I wish like we did do in person because I would like bring this over to your table and be like, hey, um, see how it's coming up way more than it normally should. That is what's happening here. Um, so I'm not loving this. I'm trying to be mindful, like pull, doing a little pulling action to try to make sure it doesn't try to pull up as much, but it is a little disappointing. Okay. So Ty said, this just shows you that there is a reason to use the blade that it tells you to. Yeah. Yeah. Ty, retweet. Absolutely. Amen, retweet. Hashtag retweet. As I'm peeling <laughs> up, like it just, I'm literally peeling up things that I would never peel up when cutting normal, when I'm cutting normally. So I'm kind of just going with it just to show you all what would happen. Um, but yeah, it's not... This is not good. It's not great. Um, definitely not good. Okay. Hmm. I was trying to see. So right now would be a great time for you guys. If you have any questions, if there's something that um, you are, like you have a question. Yeah, that this is live Q&A. Any yes. question, it could be your own Oh, Beth question. has a good question. Oh, hey, Beth. I forgot to mirror on the HTV design. I think it should be okay, right? Oh, yeah. The it, great part with this specific design, you don't necessarily have to mirror because it's the same on both sides. Yeah. It's just a circle. Yeah, you're gonna love that. As long as there's no, the text really is when you have to make sure. Yes, the text with a text or a picture that is supposed to turn one way or the other, that's where you really have to um, remember to use that mirror. Uh, yeah. But if it's a design, like a floral design, and it doesn't matter, say it doesn't have a necessar necessarily have a direction that it goes, or um, it's just like what we're doing today, it's just a circle and it's the same all the way around, Yeah. you don't have to necessarily mirror it. Yeah, we just like to get me in that habit um, especially with beginners, because if you're doing any heat transfer vinyl, it's just better to know to always mirror, and it's muscle memory at that point. That's our goal, is to yes. just get this muscle memory for you. Um, Everyone awesome. is saying how much patience you have, that um, they literally would have just started over. Yeah, we can't really do that after what we've budgeted. So this is a great example. Like this, if it's already cut through, y'all, this never comes up. Like weeding heat transfer vinyl is supposed to be super easy. Um, and it's just not able to be really easy. Um, so that is very, very sad. But what I'm probably going to do, I just wanna weed out a little bit more of this and you know, just for really you guys to see it. I mean, we're already at an hour and a half in the show, um, which is way more than we had ever really scheduled, but we're not really, this is not really a time thing. It's about the weeding quality. Please use the blade that is designed for your machine like just do that and make sure to follow it and if you all want specific instructions on being able to do heat transfer vinyl on wood i have videos both in the membership and on the youtube channel publicly where you can master that so that's what i'm probably gonna recommend for you guys to do and now i want to spend some time talking to you about how you are going to support your hello onto your wood 
Because here's the thing, if you're like, Tanner, I don't really, I've tried ironing on wood and that's just not for me. That is what, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to. This is a great alternative. You can just build what we're about to build. So all you're going to do, flip this around back and we are using these little um, 0.5 and of an inch cubes. We're going to add cubes using our dap glue or you could even use your hot glue and we're just going to apply them onto the veneer because this is going to create a little backer and y'all again today is a great day to join membership because you're going to get access to every piece of artwork that we've ever featured here on the youtube channel most of our projects are all cut falls from makers gonna learn so if you love what we do here on the YouTube channel, that's just like confirmation you'll love being a member. Yes, so we have a couple things that I want to address while you're Ooh, doing that. I love that. Violet Flame. Hey, Violet. She, they um, said the angle of the deep cut, and I did, I did not know this. There is so an angle. That's, that's why some cuts are really good. The angle of the deep cut blade is 60, whereas the fine point blade is 45 degrees. Yes, look at this. Which suit. makes the big difference. That's why my cuts are not great. And Mimi says, does the membership help with starting a business? I was going there next. No I'm way. glad you could Sadie read my mind. Sadie also wanted to go there next. I love that. Thank you, Sadie and Lauren. Um, the business is a great place to learn how to get started. We do come with you um, to give you that commercial use license. So the year membership is the best one I'd recommend for business owners. Um, we have more in-depth training that's outside of membership um, if you are business specific. Um, but it's a great place to get started with the Cricut so that you can start selling your projects. So I highly recommend Cricut for business owners. And Lauren, they can make their membership dues back really quickly. Oh, yeah. They could, within a month of selling and marketing themselves with their Cricut projects, have their membership paid for, and they're going to get a whole year of value. So that's very common of our members. So you can do it too, my friend. I'm so excited for you, Mimi. So grab your membership, $30 off today. Um, now I'm just adding in like a few extra support pieces. You don't have to add this many, but you can. And yes, we had a uh, friend say that the cubes are so useful in so many different projects. Oh, yeah. I couldn't tell you how many projects we have used these little wooden cubes for here recently. I'm adding more glue to the cubes and I'm about to apply just to let you know as you talk. Sorry, Lauren. No, but yeah, the cubes are, this is kind of like an advanced craft trick with this amazing rapid fuse. You're gonna have great quality. You do only have 30 seconds. I'm not even trying to play with you. This rapid fuse, 30 seconds. Um, so you have to work very fast. It's so fast. It's so good. If you get this on yeah. your fingers, honey, it's... Oh, like I have to file, I have to take like a file and like try to file it off or that or just peel the whole, peel all yep. my skin off with it. Yep, I understand. So then you're gonna apply this down and we're just gonna apply it. And you're like, but Tanner, what about the inner pieces? We've got you, stick with me. We're about to do that here in a moment. You do have a little bit of working time, so you can move it around for a second, but that looks good. Now we're gonna let that set. While we let that set, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our inner pieces. And our hack today is we're using these little bitty, um, we just took a little piece right here and kind of measured um, and hot glue is going to allow us to really build something amazing. So what I mean is we're going to take our little piece right here. I'm going to grab a reverse tweezer. I mean, this is this is when I'm like, Lauren, I could use a, you could a use fourth an hand, hand, a fifth hand. I mean, any top. Um, we're going to grab that. We're going to apply a piece. Look, I, I added a little hand, a little, a little you hand. Did. I added oh, it. Man. So we're going to add a little hot glue. This is like my favorite little hack with hot glue. It's just pull it. We're gonna let the glue set with this piece, okay? So so the cubes, we have had friends ask us if we got ours from Dollar Tree. No, not specifically. Um, we got ours from Amazon, but they do have them at Dollar Tree Ooh. and you can get them at Dollar Tree. That's awesome. That's uh, putting my E on incorrectly. The blade that we use to cut the wood veneer is the deep cut blade. The blade that we were supposed to use is the fine point. For the vinyl, is the fine point. 
Yeah. Oh, look at the E! Oh my gosh, that's looking so good. And then you can like put the, push this piece up. That is awesome, awesome, awesome. My glue over here on this piece started not setting fast enough, so I'm just gonna add some more and apply pressure. Okay. And then we're gonna repeat that same process for our O. So the reverse tweezer here is awesome. If you're a paper crafter, so it's reverse. So when you release it, it holds it. And then when you press it, it releases. It. So it's a little backwards. I won't even say paper crafter. I'm just gonna say crafter, crafter. in general. Those reverse yeah, tweezers that's are true. game changers. That's true. I don't wanna limit just paper because this is more multi-purpose, you know what I mean? And look, just two little dots. I mean, this really, the precision tip hot glue gun is awesome. Like, I love using my Lynn Lily hot glue gun, but I've recently been on a kick of like, Sherbonder needs to let us come out with a hot glue gun too, because I know my uh, Makers Gonna Learn family wants to have a hot glue gun. Yeah, we do. For Makers Gonna Learn, so we're gonna have to work on that. We're if you want a, time. if you want a Makers Gonna Learn hot glue gun, drop us an emoji. Yeah, drop us an emoji <laughs> if you would love to have a Makers Gonna Learn hot glue gun, because we love our Lynn Lily and we love supporting Lynn. Yes. But like we want, we want a hot we glue, glue gun too. <laughs> I mean, of course. Oh. And here you go. Oh my goodness. Imagine what it would look like if dun, 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 you were able to actually use the right blade. Do grip. What? Okay, I see it now. It was It was kind of like from over the here. E. The O. The O. Oh my Just kind of yeah. ran into it no. over where oh, I'm sitting it, yeah, at the angle. Yeah, I saw what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's easy. But yes, so look at these. I mean, they're both beautiful. This is still a winner. Oh yeah. This is still a winner. This is a winner. This is a winner. Whichever one you guys want to make, you all are going to rock it. Lauren, I cannot believe it's already three o'clock. I know. <laughs> I know. Uh, but this is such an amazing project and I've had so much fun making it with you guys. Oh my goodness. And for our friends Ooh. that did not realize you can heat transfer vinyl on wood, we although we it. did not get there yeah. today because we did have a couple mishaps, Cricket was acting up. You yeah. all know that. Yeah. You all have those issues. I have seen so many of our friends that have said, I love it when you all mess up because it <laughs> makes me feel like I'm not the only one in the world. Honey, if you only knew, no. if y'all seriously only knew Sorry, the Lord. amount of times that we mess up in that craft room. Yeah. Which it allows us to alone. really develop the tips that we get to share here. Yes. Like the amount of projects that we do are probably, I don't know, there's like what? four crafters like pretty much so yes. like probably four or five times we we mess up more because we push the limit we test we try things out you know there's that's we fail to help you not so you guys got to see today the difference of a machine what a machine would do because that was lauren we yes. didn't do anything different no. we selected veneer mm -hmm. we used the deep cut blade mm -hmm. And the first yeah. time with that Maker 3, I had flawless results. I know. The second time I did it with my Explorer, I was still struggling. And I knew it sh I knew. Right. We shouldn't have had that. But through this process, you all got to learn and see, instead of just us telling you, yeah. yes, you can do it with an Explorer. You were a part of it. You got to learn and see, okay, that Explorer only gives me three passes, so I'm going to leave it in my Explorer, and press I'm going to press play again. Done. You had something beautiful to take away from this. We had so many moments here today, and I think that's what boot camp's all about. And like, they're, I mean, you all seem to be loving it, and that's what, I, yeah. I'm, I'm glad. I'm very happy at the end of the day. There are days when we do need to mess up. We do need to show you <laughs> that we are human. Yeah, because yesterday I do, I was very happy. You know, that's what Lauren and I said after the show. Yes, jinxed us. I was we like, did. <laughs> we were like, it was so flawless. I was like, it wow, was so great. Wow. Like, and then, but then there was posts yeah. like, wait, in the Facebook group. So they had issues too. So today was a kind of like a more humbling event for us all to be like, oh yeah, mm -hmm. that happens. So we love it. I love all the comments. People yeah. um, loving. People want Lauren to sing. Oh. Um, <laughs> today's lesson. You guys are awesome. And if you're not part of the community, if you're just a lurker, are there anyone here that doesn't usually comment? I want to just spend a minute and say, do you usually not comment? If you're someone that never comments, you're just a watcher, 
I'm also a watcher. Oh, I'm a watcher for sure. I'm not a commenter. I never comment. Like it's And very, that's bad of me as an you know, as us influencers as who creators, love Oh, I know. Who love seeing it. If and you, I'm the worst at just like scrolling and yeah. being like, Oh, I love that, but never liking Never liking it. Or commenting. You know, Blake, I, I think it's a generational thing. Like we did not I was not trained to just automatically like like stuff. Blake likes he everything. Li likes everything. If he sees it, if it's somebody he loves, he liked it. I mean, it could be it could be anything. He likes it, but it's different for us. So if you're not someone that usually comments, let us know. Just, I want to say hi. I want to welcome you. I want to introduce myself. I, you yes. know, I want to say hello. Oh, learning through process. You are so sweet, Rebecca. $5. You did not have to do that. That is so <laughs> sweet. You all are the best. She has been showing up today. Has she? For not like not just commenting, but for other members. Like uh, Rebecca has been answering so many questions. I love for it. For our members. I love the mix. Really, it should be us giving her the fact. Oh, no, Rebecca, you're such a giver <laughs> with your time, your resources. You're amazing. I love seeing all these like Lauren is here. I haven't been here in a minute. Oh my gosh. I Lauren. Lo Lauren, Lauren. I love Lauren. Oh. You need to meet this Lauren. Lauren. <laughs> I was like, oh, I was like, yeah, I've been here. <laughs> no. uh -huh. Lauren, meet Lauren. Uh, I love when I get to see your your face. Usually, don't comment. Just watch and learn. Brenda, hey, I'm a watcher. I'm a watcher, Debbie. Oh my gosh, Anna Marie, so many. Barbara, John, uh, Jay. Oh, I'm a, usually a lurker. Mary Miller, I see you. <laughs> Anna Marie, I know. They're wow. all so good. Note taker. I love Anna as a note taker. I appreciate yeah. it. But y'all, if you feel like there's a part of the community that you're missing out on, I want to invite you to membership because that's the number way, one way to support everything we do here. That's how we get to show up for boot camp. Mm -hmm. That's the secret. Y'all know we, we talk about it. We love it. The people love it. Like we really have fun. And the things that we have in store, Lauren has a special announcement later on this month. We're so excited. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be so good. I'm working very diligently Courtney is working very diligently. Yes. In, in, in addition to this, I'm hoping the day you get to talk about your announcement, we get to give our other announcement. I'm wanting both. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> She's like, wait, oh, Tanner, yeah. please fill me in. Oh, that's um, something I've been taking notes in these lives. <laughs> Four. Rebecca told us to get a coffee. Yeah. Q oh, you're taking. Oh, good. 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 We I need to know. We need to know. Um, but we have another special announcement for our community because we just want to show up for you guys. We just want to serve you well. We want to take care of you and all your crafting needs. Um, and that's a big. It's a big undertaking. Like there's yes, a lot. It's, it's um, huge. Yeah. So if you haven't already, <laughs> if you haven't already <laughs> grabbed your membership, like I just want to let you know, this year is definitely an amazing year. Um, there's going to be a lot of things coming. There already are amazing things coming. We have so many announcements this month coming this Sunday. Yes. So the Sunday, that's why somebody asked. Somebody asked this Sunday, is it all the same? So no. No. Sunday is a huge announcement. It is for, and I'll try to di differentiate, differentiate. I can't say words. Differentiate. Thank you. The day's not my day for <laughs> speaking. Um, tomorrow or We'll do it tomorrow. No, <laughs> well, Sunday okay. um, is for like people that have been following and that are like deep with Makers Gonna Learn. I feel like that's more of a special, exciting project. I, I can't, I don't know what to call it, um, announcement for you guys. And then later on in the month, it's kind of more of like a thank you. Like if you're a member, you're not gonna have to do anything. You're not have to, I mean, you're, you already, it's, it's, so it's more of like a, um, just a gift later on this month in, in two different areas yeah. that are really big. So yeah. there's lots of announcements in different ways. Like if you want to go deeper with crafting mm -hmm. and like this live stream, I think reiterates a lot about what I'm talking towards on Sunday. Um, so I'm super excited for that. So if you have loved today's show, you're absolutely going to love what we have in store on Sunday. Um, has anyone bought the new Cricut Heat Press? We haven't yet, we Daisy. Haven't. I don't know. I've, I saw somebody in the comments that said they bought the hat. Beth. Beth, Beth bought, the, she hat bought the hat press. Oh, ooh, has she got it yet? So I don't think she said she had, but we're definitely waiting on a full review. Yeah. We're still kind of like. I have a video idea in mind that I need to sit down and film. Yeah. Um, and pretty much if that video does well and people want 
to hear our opinion, we'll probably do it, but mm -hmm. you know, it's not something we do a lot. When does the code run out? I'm hoping I've worked extra hours. So you have until the end of boot camp. So you have only three days left to decide if you want to be a yearly member with the coupon code. The coupon yeah. code is CRAFT, C-R-A-F-T, at checkout, um, $30 off, and you're going to be an annual best value member. Um, you're going to craft with us through Memorial Day, 4th of July, Easter, um, Thanksgiving, Christmas. Christmas. Oh, my gosh. And if you guys are brand new, because a lot of friends, this is their first boot camp, um, Christmas starts here. Lauren, you didn't join the team until September. I joined the team September 1. We were already starting Christmas. We had, I was going to we say, were, we, we start Christmas in July. Christmas. Yeah, we start Christmas yeah. in July and then do pretty much like 25% Christmas. And then by September is 100% Christmas. Oh, like it is, it is Christmas. And September is weird because we try to do a few things for Halloween, but it's more of like a, here you go. <laughs> we yeah. are Christmas people all the way through and through. Um, so we've had people asking about times. So Sunday, announcement for Sunday is 9 p.m. Eastern. Eastern time. So that would be 8 p.m. Central, oh, 7 p.m. Mountain. Mountain, 6 p.m. Pacific. Pacific. You got it. Yeah. Look at you. You're oh, rocking it. it. <laughs> and then the other announcement. <gasps> announce maybe, maybe. 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 Um, is going to be the 30th. It'll be at the end of the month. Is it? The, I don't think it's the 31st because I think I looked on there and we're it's the 30th. I'm pretty sure. So it's either the 30th or the 31st. There's like two hinder, like here two hindrances on. I can't. I literally can't say words today. Hindrances. Um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> on that, um, my kid's spring break is that week, so you could solo announce it. Oh wow! Which would be oh. a big deal. I feel like it'd be a big deal. I'm so, good with that. <laughs> so maybe. So, or we could do it before, or you know, we'll figure it out. Nonetheless, we are ready to give it to you guys. So that's gonna be exciting. I mean, we may get a wild hair and maybe do it the week before. What? If that's we what do I was that? thinking. That's what I was thinking. Because I'm I thinking was, it's almost. I know. I'm thinking it's. I know. We gave we gave ourselves enough time that if we ran over that we would yeah. have, without giving too much away, that we had leeway. Oh yeah, no, it'll be ready. I'm not worried about that. Okay. I was just worried about like, giving it to it sooner. I mean, nobody's gonna be upset about that. Huh. Will y'all be upset <laughs> about if we gave you an announcement sooner? Announcement sooner? <laughs> I don't oh, think so. I'm so excited, love it. Everybody loves Lauren. Oh, everybody wants to know what these announcements are. I know. Ah, this is the, for Sunday's announcement, I've said this over and over, first time in two years that I am, getting to reveal i feel so honored um something so special and you know we last year did makers gonna sublimate year before that was design make sale this is like something every single person will love every single friend every single person sitting here designed for you made for you we listen to you that's that's the, the whole thing. presentation the whole the whole presentation i know you all are gonna be like wow how in the world do they know? People are wanting us to tell them now. We're not. We can't. We can't. <laughs> <Do something. laughs> yeah. And Sunday, there is some special um, bonus. I mean, there's there's going to be some good stuff. So you're going to definitely want to attend. Definitely, definitely want to attend. Um, and it's going to be awesome. Will the dollar membership help me with making the decision to sign up for the yearly one? Great question. So we do have a, um, a seven-day trial membership. It's a dollar. Mm -hmm. So you get to try 20 cut files or fonts. I think it's a great opportunity for friends that are like, I don't know how we haven't already told them we're going to be their best friend. But mm -hmm. if they're still on the fence, if you're still on the fence and you want to take a step but not go all in, you don't want to submerge yourself, it's a great way. So yes, I think it'll help you decide. It'll help you see we're the real deal. We have great quality products. Try out a font, try out a cut file. You get 20 credits for a dollar. Lauren, that's five cents a credit. I'm like, I'm coming from someone who, um, when I first got a die cutting machine, thought the only way you could get cut files was to buy it directly from, I used Silhouette, so I would go to yeah. the Silhouette store and I would just buy fonts and buy oh cut my. files because I didn't know any different. Oh. That's all I knew. Like, I didn't realize that. So I was paying. When you looked to upload, you were like, well, I could upload a picture of my son or something like, but you yeah. didn't know. Yeah. So like. I, I guess fonts especially, so that's yeah. why Maker's Gonna Learn to Me is so 
like why I love it. Everyone has a different favorite part. Like mine's the, probably community and cut falls. Would you say fonts? I love the fonts. They're so unique. They're, you yeah. can't find them elsewhere. There's so many places you'd have to go and scour. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's like the membership's a little bit more than 40 cents a day. Yeah. It's not bad. But I mean, I was paying like seven, eight dollars for one font. Which is crazy. Last and so year we a tried. dollar membership for and 20? you can get 20, 20 fonts? fonts? <laughs> yeah, that's worth it. Um, but it's seven days. If you don't cancel, you become a monthly member automatically. But within that seven days, you get to go ahead and decide like, hey, you could sign up today for the dollar. Sadie so nicely dropped it for you. Mm -hmm. And then if you are ready for yearly by the end of the week, you can still use the coupon code and grab it. Um, I need to make a onesie for my grandson. Um, can cut fabric, please? So there, we do have tutorials on cutting fabric in the membership. Yes. We have something we don't talk about. I know the show is going on very long today. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not, but I'm sorry. Um, I am, but I'm not. We have a lot of member only projects. So one thing that I th find very interesting, which I don't know if we've talked about it much, probably in content planning meetings, tutorial project tutorials do not do well on YouTube. So where we put a lot of our advanced and like really mm -hmm. amazing projects, like doing a bib, mm -hmm. I believe there's a bib in the member only area mm -hmm. of the site, go over there. If you're a member, start watching those videos. There's no ads, mm -hmm. they're straight to the point, they're pausable, they're rewindable, they're rewatchable, um, and they're just straight crafting. Yeah, so if you are a member, a yearly member. You can access uh, any member. So any monthly, member. any member get member only projects. So if you are a member, period. period. Point blank you period. Need to be, you need to be utilizing that yes. resource you have that we yeah. don't talk about a lot. Yeah. but is there for you. A hundred percent. And there are so many other things in the member only, like uh, the, the patterns. The resources. Oh, the patterns. I did not know. I've been working here <laughs> since September. Did not know about the patterns until about a month and a half ago. Oh my and gosh. And I fell in love with those Are patterns. you talking about like just patterns for like paper or fill-ins and like just like, it's, it's under the cutfall area? It's under the member only and it was like, it's that, you know that daisy pattern I used on that? Yeah. Better Together? That's where I found it. Oh. So they had that and there was like a couple Aztec, there were a couple like geometric type yes, patterns yes. that I fell in love with. Um, we also have this other thing if we're talking about like hidden gems on the site that everybody finds on their own way. Remember how um, Alicia did her stove top cover? Mm -hmm. And she used that um, area under the fonts where mm -hmm. it helps you. Oh, yeah, where it, Yeah, it helps you kind of build out your font pairings yes. and things like that. So that's mm -hmm. really impressive. I mean, just all the things. Like, it isn't a... a, a oh, Rachel just signed up. Woohoo! Go, Rachel Smith. I love it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The cool part about Makers Gonna Learn, all the things we talk about here, there, everywhere. If you've been a member for many years, you have seen the evolution. If you're jumping in today, you're going to get to pick up on what other people have been part of developing so you can thank previous members, but you're going to get that and just slowly start diving in, playing around, watching content, making projects. We are about your success. Like we want you to see the progress. We want to see you take the action. So yeah, it's a lot of fun. Oh, Rosalind's yeah. phone's about to die. Well, y'all, we are about to die. <laughs> we are going, we're going to have to take company walk to decompress this with the good weather out here. We will see you back here in less than 24 hours. Yep. We're like 22 hours right at this here. point. <laughs> Literally at this chair. Right here. Um, tomorrow's project. Now tomorrow's project is... Ooh. It's going to be so I know. Good. I feel like I say that every project is top notch, but it's just like... Right. What, what are you talking about? Like, I know all the projects. They are. I know. What are, what are you trying to say they're not? I'm not saying that they're <laughs> not. I'm just saying I feel like a broken record sometimes. I know. But we really do feel that way. We but, get hopped up. But I'm not going to bring you anything. And I know Tanner's not. And I know Alicia and Caitlin and Honey, Courtney. Courtney like, would we work. We are not going to bring you something that is half <laughs> yeah, done. We love that. We love it. So, yes. Oh, my gosh. We can walk. definitely feel your passion for our success. Yay. Yes. We walk so you can run. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we should have put outside. <laughs> oh, we just, yeah. we have been doing internally, like, more interior design. Our bathrooms are looking lit. Once the office is, like, fully done, I fully intend on giving you guys an office tour. Yeah. Um, did you do the Amazon winner? So, my friends, leave a comment. 
we announced the giveaway of yesterday's video. So today you have the opportunity to win the $100 Amazon gift card. We'll announce that at the beginning of tomorrow's show. Today, uh, Miss Gwen won the printer from yesterday's show. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, I'm giving away a toaster oven for sublimation. So woohoo, I love it. Y'all have an amazing day. We'll see you back here tomorrow, 1.30 p.m. Eastern for Wednesday, day yep. three of boot camp. Bye guys. Bye.